Now to good health. America, of course, faces an obesity epidemic. We've talked about it a lot. It threatens to shorten the lives of our children. Yeah, but other recent information suggests some extra weight might be protective as we age. Dr. McGeorge is here with an important new study, Doc. Yeah, that's right, Devin and Kimberly. You know, it's been termed the obesity paradox, where overweight patients live longer than normal or underweight patients. And this has actually been shown in people with cardiovascular disease, kidney disease, and even type 2 diabetes. So it turns out it's not about weight, it's about fat. Generally, it's been believed that excess weight or body mass index, known as the BMI, is associated with a higher risk of death. But there is conflicting evidence that being slightly overweight carries a lower risk of death than being either normal or underweight. A study released today in the Annals of Internal Medicine is helping to clear up the confusion. Canadian researchers were able to accurately measure body fat percentage in over 50,000 people over 40 years old using bone density or DEXA scans. At the same time, they calculated the BMI based on the person's weight and height. Over time, an interesting pattern emerged. In our study, we found that increasing fat, not increasing BMI, was the primary risk factor for death. Dr. William Leslie is one of the study's authors. This suggests that it's body composition, not weight alone, that needs to be considered in interpreting somebody's health status. In the study, high body fat percentages and low BMIs were associated with higher risks of death. Patients and physicians need to be aware that weight and BMI are not always reliable indicators of a healthy body size. The key message from this study is that being underweight can be as bad as being overweight. It's not to how much tissue you have, it's what you're actually made of. So it's important to point out that while this helps explain why being underweight is not more healthy, it does not by any means that obesity is good. Gaining more weight inevitably leads to more body fat, and that is never going to be a good thing. But you know, I've also heard too it matters where you're carrying the fat. Right. So sometimes if you carry fat in the midsection, it's worse than if you carry it around your hips and thighs. That's exactly and, right. Yeah. The central obesity, obesity around your belly, carries hormonal risks that can affect your metabolic profile more than thigh fat. So that does actually make a difference how you're shaped as right, well. Right. It's becoming a more complicated issue. It's confusing, you're right. But, but yeah, figuring out where the sweet spot is between the two is fascinating. Right. Yeah. Too skinny is bad, too heavy, too heavy is bad. Fat. There is a sweet spot. Yeah. Okay. All right, Frank.